Hello, welcome to my demonstration about using a laser pointer input for a variable size display. An example of a variable size display would be something like a projector output where the size of the display would vary depending on the relative location of the projector. This basic setup here works pretty well with a low power portable device like the TIO Map 3 based Beagle board coupled with a Pico projector development kit. The basic setup here is that we have the Beagle board connected to a camera and also connected to the Pico projector development kit. They're both aimed at a common screen and a camera takes the input. The Beagle board does all the processing to figure out where the laser pointer is and a projector provides any output or to show any changes. For example, we could go backward in the slide, or we'll go forward in the slide. The processing is pretty straightforward. What we do is we first filter out the red in software, then we look for a very bright red spot. This works fairly well. It's relatively low power, low power in terms of both electrical cons power consumption and also CPU processing power. This works fairly well with the cheap camera, which ha usually have a limited dynamic range. The particular camera I'm using is actually something from Walmart, found in the toy department that was sold for about 15 bucks. What I'm going to show now is basically a simple demo where we have the X logo there, and the whole point of this demo is that we chase it with the laser pointer. This whole demo itself is controlled by a shell script. This is what the camera on the Beagle board actually sees there. The laser pointer moment is not turned on. Here we see the same thing except the laser pointer is aimed at the backward going control with the slides there. You may have noticed there's a distinct red halo around the red dot around the laser pointer and that actually causes problems when trying to find out where the laser is. To solve that problem, what we did is that we added a neutral density filter from the camera onto there and next shot we'll see how that looks like. Here is basically the same thing, same camera there, except we added the neutral density filter as I mentioned for the previous shot there. And notice most of the slide itself is blanked out, but we distinctly see the laser pointer dot there. And it's a very small dot, which is ideal for looking where it is. This is the final result that we use to do the demo and for the slide control earlier. Here's a picture of the equipment used for the demo. Circled here is the Pico Projector Development Kit. Circled here is the webcam and the neutral density filter installed on the webcam. And of course here is the video board that coordinates everything. 